Yo, we got a new addition to the game room. That does not seem to, to, to work. You know what, forget it. What's good, YouTube? It's your way FBI from back with another video. Today we are gonna train some chest. You already know, uh, that's a bicep. But the chest is out. You know what the rest is about. All right, so let's go ahead and take some pre-workouts. Brought to you by Offline. Use code Aftermath, 15% off, ladies and gentlemen. You already know the vibes. Got my cup, my sugar cup's all like messed up. And we have our Supreme Hulk Juice right here with our post curling candy. We'll take that post workout. And I think I got some pump peels as well. One scoop is all you need, ladies and gentlemen. One scoop is all you need. Kind of looking like a little lean today. So if you guys did not know, um, I am cutting. So we gonna show that lean muscle. I feel like I've been bulking for years. I'm talking like five, six years. I just been, not bulking, just in a maintenance stage. I've been in a maintenance stage for so long, like people think. I've been in a maintenance stage for basically ever. I don't really bulk or cut um, just because, you know, I'm required to do a lot of crazy things as far as strength training and acrobatic shit and I don't like to lose strength. Uh, I like to always be able to perform. Um, but right now I have nothing to do. Nobody really expects that from me as much anymore. So I am on a 15, 10 to 15 pound cut right now. So we're still, we're still trying to maintain our strength in the process, but I need my abs back, you feel me? All right, so let's go through my full on routine for you guys to maximize on your benching, you know, your bench sessions, your chest sessions to have healthy shoulders. We're gonna go through everything, stabilizers. We're gonna go through uh, mobility, flexibility. I mean, yeah, mobility in the shoulders. We're gonna go through just the whole entire warm up. Now, you guys, for those who've been on my channel for a minute, you've probably seen me do this, but I'll start out with a band, 10 pulls, 10 touches, and 10 uh, dislocations, right? We're gonna do two sets of this to start out and then we'll move on to the next exercise. One thing I wanna add in when you're doing the, the presses, pull apart, pull the band apart, turn a little bit, and then come in, push out. Two. All right, so now we're moving on to our stabilizing muscles. What you're gonna do is grab a kettlebell right here. We're gonna lie on the floor. And then all we're gonna do is keep our arms locked out, full extension. And we're not moving anything but that shoulder blade. Push up, pulling back down, pushing up, pulling back down. We're gonna do this 10 reps each arm. As I said before, on the ground right here, take the kettlebell, full extension all the way you got that shoulder blade on the ground right now we're just going to push up off the ground with that shoulder blade back down two three Boom. when you're doing this breathe through breathe out as you press up breathe in as you come down push that air out Everybody asks if you want to shoot again. Yes. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, what's Whoa. up, squad? Today we are shooting SSKL. Keep Insert. the A74 with a 2470. Yeah. He's gonna shoot me. But you're not black. This man is not, not a what? <laughs> you know I'm, I'm not black. All right, let's go outside and finish up the warm up and get started with this workout. All right, so right now, right now we're going to 
get a little bit of blood flow on. We'll probably do like two sets to light of 20s. And we're just gonna focus as we did on those um, kettlebells. Focus on a little bit of an extension, over extension, uh, just for this warm up. Two sets of 20, nice stretch, full extension. Just to open up the back, relax the chest, and, and contract the chest as well. So how today's training is gonna go. We're gonna start on flat bench, move over to decline, and then we're gonna move over to incline. Today is mainly all barbell until we get to selective cable flies and things like that. But this is gonna be a very high volume day. And the weight that I'm sticking to today is 225. I'm sticking to 225 throughout the entire barbell range for each exercise. And how this is gonna be mapped out is we're looking to, to get maximum volume. So we're sticking around 10 to 12 reps. We're aiming for 12 each time, but we're gonna do five sets. This is, like I said, a very high volume day. Five sets on each movement. Five sets, 225 here of 10, 10 to 12. Five sets, 25. Five sets, 225. Right? So we're just keeping the blood flowing continuously. We're just, we're exhausting ourselves to the max. And by the time we get to the cable class, try to stretch everything out, I, we, I, we want to be pre fatigued like crazy. So that's the goal of today. You can do it also. If you can't do 225, do a rep that you can do, you know, 12 reps uh, for as well. So you, you can do it for more than 12 reps, but like when it comes to like multiple sets that it's a good way for you to maintain and still get a good workout with. from flat bench moving on to decline now a lot of you might be asking like hey Teron why aren't you trusting your chest I like to stop right before I hit the chest because now I'm having to work extra hard to control the weight have it pause right there above the chest and then press it back up I feel like I'm getting more work done um, and more muscle fibers being worked when I stop right above the chest versus just going flat out all out trying to stretch it with barbell with barbell I'd rather stop right there and with dumbbells i'd rather get that you know big huge stretch and go lighter um, but right now we're still repping out these sets for those who are um curious my rest time is about 60 seconds 45 to 60 seconds quick rest times that's why we're sticking to 225 for all of these sets and in between exercises so from flat bench to decline three to five minutes you know what i'm saying enough time to set up your next place but we're chasing the pump right now we're trying to keep the intensity going that's why we're like staying with this you know lightweight you can't do 225 find a weight that you can do you know what i'm saying i know we can do a lot more reps than 225 30 40 reps whatever but it's the fact that the short rest times right and it's consistent exercise back to back to back that we're uh, chasing after so just keep that in mind a last very last exercise for barbell today finish off an incline i have no idea why i decided to finish off an incline but that's what we're going to finish off at let's fucking get it bro That is it for the barbell workout. 
simple. Boom, boom, boom. You can get this done within an hour. So definitely aim for that. Um, you know, the volume is high. If you can go up more, go up more. If you gotta go down less, come down less. Once again, this is a very lightweight, like a medium, medium weight, you know, 10 to 12 reps. Um, high volume, five sets of everything, very simple. So you can either finish off, what I like to do is I'll probably do some uh, push-ups. I like to finish off with some push-ups and maybe like you said with some table flies uh, just to finish off the chest and for those who want a little bit more chest growth. But yeah, uh, right now everything's taken so I'm not gonna do it today. But to add in, that would be very beneficial for anybody. So definitely consider that. Um, hope you guys like the workout. Let's go through the rest of the day. And uh, yeah, just film. The cicadas are out right now. Oh, oh, it just, oh. Ain't they supposed to be blind? So how the hell do they see anything? Like, <laughs> that doesn't make sense. How the hell they, they're blind to run? Of course they don't see anything. Like how the hell they just get around? Like they had to just be running into shit. But then again, I do be seeing cicadas just like randomly smacking the shit out their asses. You know what I'm saying? I hate this. It's like my keys is in my bag. And if I unlock, the, I can unlock the door without, you know, having the keys out. But I gotta make sure I press the unlock button. I just felt how hot this car is before I even got in it. So babe's at the house. She said she made some breakfast. I'm making some breakfast right now, so I ain't gotta worry about breakfast. But what I like to do when I get home, I don't do cardio um, here anymore because we got like a little $300 Amazon treadmill or whatever. And I go home, walk on that bitch for like an hour, bro and play Street Fighter or whatever game. So that's what I'm about to do. I'm about to go eat and then do cardio. What's up, cutie? What's up, cutie? You need a Cooking it up, you know what I'm saying? Hold on, this thing just heavy. Huh? You want me to grab it? Oh. Yeah. It drops your meat. Yeah, baby, Look at that. that. Right in there. Two. Mm -hmm. Gonna eat and hop on the tree. Alright, so that's what we got for food. They come out like a little skillet bowl. Um, we got some some smoked sausage in here, some bacon, eggs, and potatoes for the win, ladies and gentlemen. So I'll be snacking up on this. Right here with a Dr. Pip. I want some eggs too. Did I say eggs? I'm not even sure. I'm exhausted right now, dude. Now, if I wasn't cutting, I'm not talking to you. If I'm cutting, I'm gonna put some syrup in this bad boy. Time right now. I'm lazy. Showered up. Chilling on the look. All right, so I've been lazy since I got home. To be honest, I'm probably gonna do my cardio stuff later while I'm on a computer or whatever. Just kind of like chill game, walk for a little bit. I think I burn like 200, 300, you know, calories or so while I'm doing my walking and gaming and stuff. So I think it's a uh, super beneficial, especially since I snack a lot. So I'm just kind of like negating those snacks in a way, even though like. I think two cups fulls is like 300 calories of my trail mix that I be having. So I don't know. Either way, we're still making progress. I'm starting to feel a bit leaner. Um, I like when I eat and, you know, I'm still kind of like under the weight that, uh, that, you know, I started with the day before or something like that or like a few days before. So it's nice to see progress, but it's... Uh, it's tough, bro. That is kind of like, it's not tough, you know, but it somewhat is for somebody like me who likes to snack a lot. And those snacks have so many calories and make things a lot harder. I like to go out, I like to eat. Um, so it just kind of have to stay under control. It's like, the you know, the more I don't do, it helps. <laughs> you know, or you know, sometimes the more I don't do, or if I'm like too busy, it helps in a weird way. Because it's like I'm too busy to think about eating and stuff and and I got a lot of things going on, and I just, you know, don't think about eating. And when I'm not doing anything, I feel like it's kind of the same thing. Um, I'm just not as hungry for some reason. Uh, maybe it's just because I'm not moving around as much. I don't know. It's like, 
it's weird to it's hard to explain um but i've mentioned like times before like i don't eat much but the things i oop I mentioned times before, like, I don't eat much, but then again, like, I do. The things that I have are, like, super, like, calorie dense. Um, and then even if I eat, like, two times a day and the things in between, little snack-ons are super high. Um, so, and, like, even with my, being with my girl, like, before I never snacked a lot, to be honest. And then ever since we got together, all of a sudden, like, I'm eating freaking Snickers all the time and, like, just candy and just sweets and stuff. And then she, like, bakes. Um, so I buy cookies sometimes. Um... So it's time to really like be an adult, you know, um, and I'm still snacking, but just trying not to go crazy. Like if I get this big thing of trail mix, try not to eat it in one day, you know, like a big like target, you know, thing. like I can eat that joint in one day easily and uh, couldn't shit like that out, man. So uh, y'all are here with me on this journey. So, yeah, um, workouts, you know, still just doing a little bit more higher volume workouts still have my days while i'm doing strength training but i'm not it's not the main point right now i'm just trying to focus on more volume stuff and build my muscle man because i feel like regardless of all the strength and heavy weights that i do it's just not really giving me the look that i want and i need to really focus more on my hypertrophy training um, like i used to so we're aiming for that um follow along you know like and subscribe to the channel Catch you guys later.